Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are giving a fine combination of exponential function and trigonometric function forming an equation. We are asked to find the values of x given that x is from 0 to 360, both ends included, where 2 to power sine squared x plus 3 to power cos squared x is equal to 4. Before I proceed, please do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and also share this video. I would also like to read your comments in the comment section. To solve the problem, we need to apply a trigger identity. That identity is sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. I am going to make sine squared x the subject here and then substitute it where I have sine squared x in the original question. So sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos squared x. Therefore, 2 1 minus cos squared x plus 3 cos squared x is equal to 4. Now, if I apply a law in indices which is a to power b minus c is equal to a over b over a over c. That is the subtraction law here. I will now have 2 to power 1. 2 to power 1 is 1 over 2 to power cos squared x plus 3 to power cos squared x is equal to 4. Now, I am going to make one substitution. That is... 2 to power cos squared x is equal to a and 3 to power cos squared x is equal to b. So I'll put this for a. I'll put a for this here and then b for this in this place. It becomes 2 over a plus b is equal to 4. If I multiply through by a, I'm going to clear the fraction. So 2 plus AB is equal to 4A. Let me collect like terms. That is, 4A minus AB is equal to 2. Then factorize A out, 4 minus B is equal to 2. 2 is a prime number, and it can be written as 2 times 1, or 1 times 2. So I'm going to equate these products to each of these um, expressions of 2. So a 4 minus b and then a 4 minus b. This forms equation 1 and this forms equation 2. Now solving equation 1, we have a 4 minus b is equal to 2 times 1, where a is equal to 2 or 4 minus b is equal to 1. Now let us resolve this side. b will now be 4 minus 1 and b is equal to 3. Let's remember that a is 2 to power cos squared x. So here we have 2 to power cos squared x is equal to 2 to power 1 because 2 power 1 is 1. And in this case, b is 3 to power cos squared x. Therefore, 3 to power cos squared x is equal to 3 to power 1. Where this and this will cancel out, remaining cos squared x is equal to 1. And also here, this and this will cancel out cos squared x. Is equal to 1. Basically, we have exactly the same expression in these two cases. Now, let us solve for the value of x here. So, cos x will now be plus or minus the square root of 1. The square root of 1 is 1. And so, cos x is plus or minus 1. Now, if that's the case, x will now be the cos inverse of plus 1 or x will be the cos inverse of minus 1. Let us take this first case. x is equal to cos inverse of plus 1. And so x equals to 0 or 360. Because cos 0 is equal to cos 360 to give us 1. These are our first set of solutions. When x is equal to cos inverse of minus 1, then x equals to 180 because cos 180 is minus 1. This is another solution. Let us now solve equation 2. Let's remember 
equation two is this. This is equation two. So we have a four minus b is equal to one times two. And so a is equal to one or four minus b is equal to two. A is two to power cos squared x. It is equal to one can be written as two to power zero. Or now this is b is equal to four minus two. Let's remember that b is three to power cos squared x, and it is equal to two because four minus two is two. Now let us solve this first case. Since we have these bases the same, then cos squared x is equal to zero. Or cos x is equal to 0 because the square root of 0 is 0. And x is the cos inverse of 0. The cos inverse of 0 will give us 90. If I also check cos 270, I will have 0. So the cos inverse of 0 is 90 and 270. We have another set of solution. Now let us solve this final part of the uh, problem. We have 3 to power cos squared x is equal to 2. I'm going to take the log to base 3 of both sides. This is log to base 3 of 3 to power cos squared x equals to log to base 3 of 2. Now, this power will come down giving us cos squared x log to base 3 of 3, which is log to base 3 of 2. Log to base 3 of 3 is 1, so cos squared x is equal to log to base 10 of 2 over log to base 10 of 3. Log to base 10 of 2 is 0 0.3010 and log to base 10 of 3 is 0 0.4771. So cos squared x will be equal to, if I divide both of them, I have 0 0.63. 089 and so cos x will be plus or minus the square root of 0 0.63089 therefore cos x equals to plus or minus 0 0.7943 now cos x when cos x is plus 0 0.7943 x will, will now be equal to 37.41 and when x and when cos x is minus 0 0.7943 x equals to 142.598 or 217.410 now when we back substitute the values of x that we um, solved which is 0 and 360 then 180 90 to 70 and these ones into the original equation this will not be a solution to the equation and also this will not be a solution to the equation therefore the solution to the equation is x is equal to 0 180 360